Konnichiwa Sumo Card Collectors. Again, welcome to another edition of Sumo Card Hub. I uh, appreciate everybody tuning in for episode number one, and uh, a lot of great comments uh, for the first inaugural one, so appreciate everybody again tuning in for the second one. thought I'd highlight the top 10 interesting Yahoo Japan auctions. Not necessarily the most expensive, but, uh, but the ones that I thought were interesting, a little mix of old, a little mix of new, and so, uh, yeah, again, just some interesting ones that finished over this past week. This first one is definitely interesting. I don't quite have a good uh, understanding of this one, but it's a BBM card from 2014 of Endo. Uh, obviously really young here in his career. He debuted in 2013. Uh, his hair is not even long enough for a, a, to, to be made up into a chomage, but um, looks pretty normal on the front. Um, but if you scroll to the back, you can see it's a special present, um, not, not your typical 2014 back. I uh, can't quite read all that, but if anybody has any information on it, uh, please let me know. Or if anybody's got some some better scans, uh, I'd be, we'd love to see them. Chime in at the comments if you know what uh, what kind of card this is. But one bid uh, for about a thousand yen, a little uh, about nine dollars and seventy five cents uh, U.S. dollars. So yeah, whoever picked that up got a great deal. You don't see many of these. I certainly don't. The next auction here finished about eleven hundred yen. Oh, I don't know about a little over ten dollars. And it's not nothing too special, but I did want to highlight it. It's an interesting way to display the auction. This is from the 2021 Takumi set. And so, yeah, just a, an interesting way to catch the eye. It certainly caught my eye. Um, I'm not sure how many are in this auction. I think uh, about 100, 150. Uh, but certainly an interesting way to show that. And looks like somebody probably picked up a full set here. You can see uh, Teru no Fuji here. And uh, yeah, just a, a great all-around uh, interesting auction and again, just a cool way to display it. So whoever picked that up, congratulations. Uh, you're well on your way to a Takumi set, if not a full set. Yeah, this next one is really interesting. This is from 1961. This is a Doyusha Shiki uh, set. There's 40 cards in this set. Um, 10, 10 uh, different Rikishi. Uh, each Rikishi has four different cards. Some of the key ones in here you can see, um, it looks like uh, to Tochinishiki uh, Yokozuna, who I think just retired uh, not too long after the set was built or made. Uh, Kashiwato you can see here, I, I don't know if there's a Taiho in here or not, um, but also Shio down here as well in the lower left hand corner. So it's a matching game I will say, uh, set. So you flip them over and the goal is to, uh, to try to find two matches and there are different ways to play it. Um, obviously you could, uh, you could match the numbers, um, you could match suits, um, and so yeah, just a, just a fun, cool set. There are several different versions of this from 1961. Uh, I don't think anyone is more common or rare, but they're all about the same. So yeah, whoever picked that up, a couple uh, bids on that, uh, for about 1100 yen. So congratulations, very cool set. Next one is another old one, so this is a Shogaku Yonen, uh, set. This came in a magazine, so a fourth grade magazine from uh, 1963. These were inserted in, they're like, kind of like Sports Illustrated for kids. You can see the perforation, you can see the kids had to hand cut these. But there were 10 cards, excuse me, 10 sumo cards in this set. There's a boxing card and a couple pro wrestling cards in there as well. The key ones here are Taiho and Kashiwato, some of their very first sumo cards uh, depicting them as Yokozuna. So, Again, I've only seen uh, about two. This is def the second one. Um, I probably have seen a third one in, in some pieces throughout uh, throughout the past 20 or so years. What I didn't know until this auction was uh, there actually was a boxing card and a couple pro wrestling cards in this as well. And I would suspect there's probably even more than that. But whoever picked that up, uh, three bids uh, just closed um, under... Uh, or a little over 1700 yen so about uh, 16 or so us dollars so whoever got that awesome pickup extremely rare let's see let's go on into the next one kakuru this is his 2017 um a bbm event signed card you can see in gold ink there hard to see along the bottom i'm not even sure i can make anything out but there there normally would be a seal or embossed seal at the bottom uh, and I imagine whoever picked that up, you'll be able to easily tell that. But yeah, great, a great price for a Yokozuna autograph on card. Four bids, 2,800 yen. And so again, about 26 US dollars. 
And whoever picked that up got an amazing deal here. Uh, don't know how many of these were made in 2017, how many he signed, uh, but certainly can only be in the dozens, I would imagine. Again, they don't come up too often, so whoever got that one, great deal. Going on to the next one, uh, this is a great one. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen this card, but this is a, this is a Takami Sakari. Um, just an extremely energetic, uh, extremely popular wrestler. Uh, I'm not sure when he retired. Probably about, geez, is it five years ago now, maybe? Uh, but anyway, this is a 2011 of uh, BBM event side, uh, event signed card as well. Gold ink uh, on card autograph. And this one's easy to see, but you can see the embossing right down here um, under his name. And so again, what they would do is, is BBM held a vote, uh, promotional events all around the country promoting new products and new items. They would have wrestlers sign these cards and boss them and then in the random drawings at each of these events, uh, you could win one of these um, autographed cards. So very cool pickup, 3,100 yen or about 30 US dollars for four people bidding on that. If anybody from the Facebook BBM Sumo Card Collectors Group won that, uh, be sure to, to post that. It'd be awesome to see. It's going on go on to the next one which is a really cool one probably one of the oldest you'll see in a long time uh, I've been able to catalog this from around 1901 to 1904 um, these are Menko very early paper Menko and uh, somebody got a great deal only about 40 US dollars 4200 yen you can see a lot of bidding action 11 bids uh, but what makes a set really interesting is it it includes wrestlers from Tokyo uh, as well as Osaka uh, sumo associations um, and so you, the, at one time Osaka had its own sumo association Tokyo had theirs and then they eventually merged into one but uh, during this period there was two different ones and you can just see uh, amazing uh, woodblock printed Menko um, you can see the uh, the Gyoji down here at the bottom the Yobidashi here at the top Yokozuna, uh, what is this? Uh, I think it's Wakashima um, from Osaka. Not too familiar with him. Um, Komogatake, uh, Kunimiyama, and a few others here. You can scroll through here, you can just see some amazing artwork, amazing woodblock prints. They actually use gold um, ink on these. You can see, you should be able to see a little bit here in the images. Um, but yeah, that gold ink really pops on these once you see them in hand. Again, not the highest quality, uh, but certainly some amazing artwork when they are centered. Um, just some beautiful cards. And whoever got these got a really good steal. Uh, again, for only about 40 US dollars. These are, again, not extremely rare. They do pop up about once a year on uh, different... Uh, amounts of them different ones come up but uh, but certainly really cool to own uh, I've got some in my collection as well um, just again a great piece of history for being about hundred and twenty some years old or 115 years old so whoever picked those up got a great steal awesome I'm glad you can add those to your, to your collection just thought I'd highlight another one here this is uh, Goedo's uh, uh, signed card from the uh, 2021 uh, goodbye set uh, Goedo autographed 90 of these cards so just wanted to highlight that there are 90 out there they tend to pop up every once in a while and so again one bid somebody picked this one up for 50 uh, about 50 US dollars uh, 5,000 yen so cool cool pick up there next one uh, Harama Fuji on card events signed uh, uh, gold ink uh, auto again like Kakuru earlier these were promotional cards handed out as prizes for different BBM ev events around the country a lot of action on this one uh, looks like seven bids sold uh, ultimately again for 6,000 yen uh, so great pickup there uh, whoever was able to get that again I can't see the embossing on this the images aren't that great uh, but uh, probably down here in the left corner or left right or excuse me right right hand corner you'll see that that embossing so whoever got that great and hope you uh, enjoy that in your new collection 
And I'll end it with a really cool one from about 1920. This is a postcard set. Postcards are actually pretty common from the 1920s, uh, the sumo postcards. Uh, this one's really unique, though, that it's got uh, Yokozuna uh, Onishiki. He retired in 1923, and so you can see some early images of, of some wrestlers that you don't normally see. Can't quite read all the names here, but just some great poses, some great crisp images of some rickshi of old. And again, this is a 100-year-old uh, postcard set. Um, would have loved to add this to my collection. Uh, didn't see it, uh, obviously, in time, but uh, whoever got it, I think uh, that's going to be a nice addition to your collection. Six bids, uh, about 11,000 yen, so uh, what is that, about, a, a hundred, I don't know, 105 U.S. dollars. And again, if you pick that up, great uh, great addition. Uh, make sure you can show that off if, uh, if any of you uh, pick that up from the BBM Sumo Card Collectors Group on Facebook. There you have it. There's your top ten for this week. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll, we'll head on to the next segment. All right, this next segment is called This Month in Sumo, brought to you by Sumo World Magazine from July 1987. I was reading this the other day and came across a really interesting article about um, a ex-wrestler that was arrested, in on, arrested on a blackmailing charge. So I just wanted to highlight that here and then uh, show you an actual uh, set from 1974, the 1974 Sumo Trump set that actually has the wrestler in it. So I thought it'd just uh, be a little cool piece of history um, and then just a little bit of tidbit of, of, of news as well. So you can see on the screen, uh, ex uh, Asanobori arrested on blackmailing charge. And so this former uh, Maegashira number two Asanobori and a, a freelance writer, uh, Toyomi Inaba, uh, they were both arrested in uh, June, of, June 6th of 1987. Uh, trying to blackmail a realtor for about 2 million yen, or at that time about $14,000. Um, what they were doing was they were going to uh, publish a damaging article against a real estate company, uh, and they told the, um, the owner, I guess, or, or the president, that uh, they would stop that publication if that owner paid them 10 million yen, or about $70,000. Um, several days later, they eventually were able to get at least $2 million out of him, uh, but then subsequently arrested because of blackmail. Uh, so Asanobori, he entered uh, the uh, Asahiyama Beya in 1963. He was promoted to Makuno Makunouchi in 1969. He's known as the chubby little rascal, and he won the judo at that time, the judo yusho, a record four times. Um, so uh, it's actually a pretty accomplished a judo wrestler. He retired in 1978. He assumed the Azuma Fuji uh, Toshiori. Uh, for those of you familiar with that, that's the one that uh, Takamiyama eventually took over. Um, so Asanobori left the sumo world uh, in 1980, sold the, uh, the Azuma Fuji name to Takamiyama, and then opened a Chanko restaurant. The restaurant failed in 1983, and then Shimori eventually became a boss in the Seiji Keisha, which was a Yakuza gang, and that's how he got tied up in this blackmail um, arrest. So uh, I'm going to turn it over right now to the uh, the next video, which will show you the 1974 Sumo Trump set, which, ac which actually has Asanobori in it. Okay, I just wanted to highlight um, the 1974 Trump set, and you can see here is Jiro. Asanobori, the one that we just were talking about in the article, uh, the uh, the little rascal, I guess, chubby little rascal. And so you can see here's the case that the set comes in, a nice little gold lettering on that, plastic, and then it comes in this white cardboard box uh, in 1974. But here's uh, Asanobori, and uh, I'll take a, take a look at all the rest of the cards in the set. It's a pretty cool set, packed with stars. Yeah, here's Kita no Fuji. Uh, Koto Zakura, Daiju, got Wajima, Daikirin, here's Takanohana, uh, Kiyokuni, Hasegawa, Kaiketsu, Masuyama, here's Takamiyama, uh, very famous, again, uh, first foreigner to win a sumo tournament. So. Jesse, here's Takamiyama, Asahikuni, here's Wakanoumi, uh, Kurohimayama, here's Tochi Azuma, 
uh, Mie Naomi eventually uh, made Yokozuna. Uh, Tochi Fuji. Uh, Wakajishi. Uh, Mai no Yama. Ruko. Here's uh, Kite Se Kita Seumi. Yep. Arase here. Ruo. Kongo. Uh, Toki Bayama. Futa da Futago Dake. Tendru. Hagoroyama here. So, no, sorry, Hagoro Iwa. Sorry, Hagoro Iwa there. Uh, Onishiki. Uh, Dairugawa. Uh, Mutsu Arashi. Uh, Futa. Let's see, what does that say? Futa Tsudu. Uh, Chio Zakura. Koto no Fuji. Fuku no Hana here. Uh, here's Oshio. Here's uh, Iwatora. Here is uh, Teru Zakura. Uh, Yoshi, uh, Yoshiyama. Yoshioyama, there. Yoshioyama. Yep. Here's uh, Shirao. I believe that's what that says. Uh, Waka Masugi. Or why? Sorry, Waka. Waka Mitsugi. Not ma Masugi. Waka Mitsugi there. Uh, Waka Futase. Dio. Uh, here's Kawasaki. Uh, Yoshino Tani here. Ko uh, let's see, this is Ko Kotetsuyama. Kotetsuyama. Uh, Owashi. Let's see. Um, Itakiyama. Fujizakura. Let's see, this is uh, Washuyama. Is that right? Washuyama. And then Kita no Umi. There you go. And then uh, yeah, this is uh, Kimura Shinosuke, um, the Gyojis, and then the blank card. So there you go, 1974 Trump set. All right, I thought I'd uh, end the episode here of Sumo Card Hub with opening five of the multi sports set uh, Heisei. There are three sumo cards in here. Let's see, Wakanohana card number 31. We've got the Musashi Maru card number 36 and then Haku number 75. A lot of people might not like the the multi-sport set, but I really enjoy them. A lot of unique and interesting sports. Heisei definitely has them as well. Uh, there are autographs in this set. Uh, likely I'm not gonna pull any of those. These packs have been picked over. Once the autographs get pulled from the box, and a lot of people just throw a lot, bunch of these loose packs and then sell them in auction. So that's how I pick these up for pretty cheap. But uh, hey, let's see if we can get at least uh, one sumo card out of these five packs. Again, we're looking for Wakanohana, Musashi Maru, and Hakuho. There aren't. There is a. There is a special subset of here called Amazing. No sumo cards in Amazing, but. Uh, um, potential right um to get uh, some of the i think uh, otani is one of them in the amazing set uh, as well as in the base so he's pretty popular right now in the united states so let's take a look all right so tatsu yoshi in boxing here's uh, tanimoto and judo here's mori baseball uh Sawamatsu in tennis and then uh it <laughs> looks like red bull air racing uh, uh muroya Muroya, um, Muroya here in, um, yeah, it looks like airplane racing. Very cool. So yeah, I told you the pretty interesting sets there. All right. Let me know in the comments below, anybody pull any of the sumo cards out of this set, any of the autographs. I know Masashi Maru has uh, autographs in here as well as Hakuho, both numbered out of 30. So let me know if anybody has pulled any of those. Here's Morishita track and field. Here's uh, Hoshino and baseball. Kazu and soccer, uh, Goto Maru and rugby, and then hey, here's um, Miwa Asao. She's pretty popular in beach volleyball. This is uh, that amazing subset as I was telling you about. Pretty cool. Some shimmy shine there. Uh, as some of my friends on another uh, another channel like to call them, uh, these uh, shimmy shine cards. So very cool. There's the amazing subset. I'll put that one back there. Get a little picture there. 
I typically like to cut packs open. I'm not a big fan of ripping them. Um, let me know what you think. Who's a fan of ripping? Who's a fan of cutting? Here's a Takahira track and field. Hey, there we go. All right, Hakuho. Card number 75. Sumo, awesome. I'll put that one back there. Here's another amazing, you can see this has got the gold parallel facsimile auto on there. And I think these are numbered, yeah. Can you see down there? 142 of 200. So there you go. Another amazing, I'll put that one right there as well. Here's a Kono and a Skiing and a Kawauchi in track and field. Yeah, not bad for these uh, five random packs. Let me know if you need Hakuho. I think I've got that one, so I can certainly send it to anybody who might need it. Let me know. You will say baseball. Here's a Suzuki in baseball. Ito figure skating. Uh, Matsunaka in baseball. And then another amazing. This is just the base one. Um, Shiota in badminton. These are not numbered the base amazings. This one's A10, but um, there you go. Another amazing. Wow. Doing not doing too bad for these five oh it's gonna get a little better there you go and we got the last pack here cut this one open all right let's see if we can pull another sumo card out of here at least another amazing card uh hero rugby man that looks uh, like an old one yeah, card number 21 so yeah one of the early early uh, athletes in the heisei era uh kamiyama in uh Keirin. So I think bike racing, yeah, really, really popular in Japan. Take a look at that. Uh, Ramirez, baseball. Here's uh, Daisuke Miyazaki. He actually had his own BBM uh, set, believe it or not, just dedicated to him uh, with some random autographs. And I think memorabilia, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, Daisuke Miyazaki is really popular in Japan in handball. And then uh, Hoshino in baseball. So there you are. Uh, that is the 2019 Heisei set. We've got some amazing cards. You can see there, we've got the gold parallel numbered out of 200. And then we've got uh, the Hakuho here. So appreciate everybody tuning in today. And uh, best of luck if you open your own Heisei packs. Let me know what you get. And uh, we'll see everybody next week. Thanks. Bye.